Hey artist, welcome back to a new adventure in visual arts. Our next studio project is all about gaining confidence while drawing from observation. As a twist to setting up a traditional still life or working from a photograph, we'll also be creating the subjects of our observational drawing. This is where the fabulous art of origami fits in. Composed of the Japanese words oru, to fold, and kami, paper, origami has a rich and complex history that spans culture, class, and geography. Traditional origami is characterized by open access folding patterns and sequences passed down orally from generation to generation. Through use of paper and research steps, an artist can create seemingly endless origami possibilities. In your supply kits, I've provided you with two sheets of origami paper to be used in the creation of your subjects. You'll notice a lighter and darker sheet of paper. If you would like additional time to practice with origami prior to using these sheets, simple printer paper cut to a recommended 6 inches by 6 inches can absolutely be used. You have also been provided with a Strathmore Artist tile in black and white and black and white Prismacolor pencils to use for our upcoming drawings. You will also utilize a graphite pencil, but we will cover use of these materials a little later. To begin, you'll want to research two different origami instructions to utilize for your subjects. I'm providing some of my favorite origami instructions with a link in the description box below. Once inspired, either practice first with computer paper or work slowly and carefully with the provided origami paper to create your subjects. You'll want to keep your origami paper stored carefully in your supply kits until ready to use. For our first drawing from observation exercise, we'll use the origami you've constructed from the darker paper and our white artist tile. To start simply, we'll establish a bare background by just placing a white sheet of paper underneath our origami subject. We'll also locate or utilize a dependable artificial light source that will cast consistent shadows from our subject. You may push this simple still life away from you in order to see a side perspective of your subject more effectively or closer to you to view your subject from overhead. Please work with your family to ensure a location that will be okay for your still life to remain for a few days at whatever perspective you prefer. Use washi tape or paperweights to keep work in place as desired. You are now ready to observe, to note details, lines, and shapes of your first subject within a still life. Be mindful of your chair's location and your posture, and work to keep these consistent as you begin drawing. Use your white artist tile and a graphite pencil. Begin drawing the contours of your subject, making sure to keep referring to your subject as you draw so that you are truly drawing what you see, and not just what you think you should see. Although I would normally recommend for you to not draw your subject in the center of your composition, this is not a concern for this exercise, as our shadows will help move the viewer's eye around our tile. Feel free to use a ruler to achieve the clean and straight lines of your origami folds. I recommend moving your eyes back to your subject about every 8 seconds and erasing as much as needed. Once you have your subject's contour outlines in place, begin adding the outlines of any areas of highlight or shadow, as these will be important to capture with value later. If your origami has any noteworthy patterns or designs that you'd like to capture, Take time to add contours of these now. Using a black Prismacolor pencil, we'll begin to add the observed values on our white artist tile. 
From last year, we remember that a 45 to 60 degree angle, when blending, gives us stronger control. By using small circles and light pressure, we can establish smooth and light values through shading. We layer and add more pressure to slowly build darker values. You'll notice that I switch from blending to hatching when I want to establish bold, dark value. From this exercise, we've been reacquainted with the drawing process and application of value. Now it's time to add a fun new challenge. Using your lighter origami and black artist tile, we'll explore inverse shading. To establish a bare background and set the scene for this drawing, you may place your origami subject on a dark piece of paper, a dark desk or table, or even a darker piece of cloth, perhaps a t-shirt. Just as before, you may push the simple still life away from you in order to see a side perspective of your subject more effectively, or closer to you to view your subject from overhead. Please continue working with your family to ensure a location that will be okay for your still life to remain for a few days. You will approach contour outlines as before, using a graphite pencil first as the metallic sheen of your graphite will still be visible on your black tile. Pay special attention to where the highlights and shadows live on your subject and on your background, as these will be important to capture when applying value. Using your white Prismacolor pencil, begin with lighter areas on your origami subject. Allow your pencil pressure to lessen to establish smooth transitions from the light areas to the dark value of your paper. Remember that you are allowing the background to replace the majority of the dark values in your still life. With this exercise, it's always recommended to start with light shading and build as needed in order to eliminate excessive erasing. Layer slowly to intensify the white pencil shading for any highlights on your subject. When you reach shadows, use a black Prismacolor pencil to separate them from the background value. And there you have it, two origami observational drawings with intentional applications of value. I hope you're very proud of your hard work. Stay safe, stay creative, see you soon.